Hello everybody and welcome back to our Luau summer camp. Um, in this video we're going to be doing our canvas. We're going to be doing like this little tiki head guy here. Um, it, so what you'll need is you're going to need your acrylic paints, you're going to need a palette, you're going to need some brushes, some water, and you're also going to need your pre-drawn canvas here. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to take my brown acrylic here, pour some out my palette. I'm going to start painting all of the background brown. So all of this is going to be brown besides the little details that we have already pre-drawn on our canvas. So I'm just going to take our paintbrush and dip it in our paint and start and get going. And then um, to go along the, the edges, you just want to go nice and slow and kind of go around the edge first and then kind of fill in next to your detail. So that way you don't start from outside and kind of struggle with the detail and doing a nice line. So like I said, you're just going to take your paintbrush, you're just going to draw right next to the line nice and slow. And that makes a nice perfect line for you. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paint the outside of all of this nice and brown. And if you want, what you can do is you can skip ahead just a little bit just to see what is brown, what is not. Pause the video and then you can go from there and just start painting this brown. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me paint all of this brown. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing brown and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that I am done painting the background brown, um, I also put on a second layer of brown on here, um, just because in some of the places you could see some of the brush strokes and stuff. So I did a second layer of brown, which is optional too, if you want to do that or not. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our design. So I'm going to grab our pink color here. Just like that. I'm going to grab our brush. And then with the hot pink, we are going to be painting the lips this color. Just like that. You want to be careful not to get any on the teeth. Because the teeth are going to be white. So you want to be careful not to get any pink on the teeth. You're just going to paint the teeth nice and gentle and slow. If you go nice and slow, you'll be able to get the details really nice and get the edges really nice. Just got to remember just to go slow and steady. And paint the lips. Nice hot pink. Make them really pop. Just like that. Perfect. Now that we've painted the lips, we're also going to paint the little headband up here in the hot pink. Apologize if my arm or my hand gets in the way. Perfect. And now we're going to paint one of the little feathers on top. I'm going to paint that hot pink as well. And you can paint whatever you want, whatever color you want. But I'm just teaching you how we did it and where the colors are in ours. So now that I've done the hot pink, I'm going to go in with our orange. And 
do our orange. So orange is the nose is orange. I'm gonna paint the orange nose. And like I said, you can do whatever colors that you want. I'm just doing it like we did our example there. So that way you can know exactly how we did ours. In case you wanna copy ours, you're more than welcome. We're doing our nose orange. Just like that. Perfect. And then I'm going to paint a couple of the leaves orange as well. Not leaves. Excuse me. Feathers up here. The orange color as well. That one orange, and this one orange. Orange is my favorite color. So I'm doing a lot of orange, because I like orange. Now to create that peachy color, now that we're done with the orange, I'm going to create a peachy color. I'm going to take our white, we're going to mix our orange with some white. And that's going to create our peachy color. So just like that, we made a peachy color. Perfect. So I'll take my peachy color, we're gonna do his little cheek triangles in that peachy color. Perfect. Cheek triangles. Then we're also going to do that little, like, half moon up top. And the peach color. Perfect. And now we're going to take our blue. Boom. We're going to paint a couple of the feathers with blue. Just like that. Like I said, with all the details, you want to go nice and slow. Sometimes if I go a little too fast for you, that's okay. You can pause the video or rewind it. I'm going a little too fast. Just like that. And then we're going to take our blue. We're going to mix it with white to create a light blue. What you can do is you can lay down some newspaper or some paper or cardboard or even do this outside if it's nice outside. That way you don't get paint everywhere. Perfect. Now we're going to paint the eyeballs the light blue. But we're going to leave that circle in the middle. We are not going to paint that circle in the middle. Just around it. Just like that. Same thing with the other eye. Painting around that little circle in the middle. Just like that. Then we're going to paint the last feather the light blue. Just like that. Perfect. Alright, we're almost done. Now we're going to take our black color and we're going to fill in right by the teeth. Just 
take our black and we'll fill in the mouth. I'm just going to go right next to the teeth for now. Just right next to the teeth. Just like that. Now I'm going to go in between the teeth, but just a little bit. Like that. On every tooth. Just create like a little V. In between each tooth. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just like that. And then you can do the bottom set of teeth. It's just like a pattern. You can create little teeth by painting in what we call the negative space or the black. And leaving the white, get that illusion of teeth. Boom. And we are all finished. Like I said, if I went a little too fast for you, feel free to rewind this video or to pause it or to end it, re watch it a couple times if you need to. But we are all done. So you can go ahead and let this dry. I would let it dry overnight just to make sure it's completely dry before you hang it up anywhere or display it wherever you'd like. If you want to, you can take some, some of your white and you can paint in the teeth and the inner eyes if you want. Uh, but I just thought I would leave it just because it looks nice like that. But there's the finished project after it is all dried and everything. And here it is wet. Super fun. But yeah, like I said, I'll let it dry overnight before you hang it up. And then you can check out our other videos on our Luau Summer Camp. We are going to be doing a pineapple lantern, a bunch of crafts. We're doing a clay craft. So you can check out those other videos. Um, but until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.